Hello? It's it's me. <laughs> Again? I'm turning this around. <laughs> yeah, this I go first now. Hey, okay, no, I do. <laughs> Salut. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> no way, it's me. Um, welcome. I'm so delighted to have you here watching this because I'm actually really proud of this. I really, really like this build. Would you <laughs> say it's your favorite build as of yet? So, yes, I would say that. Wow. I'm just so excited for everyone to see it. Okay. Um, okay, so this is a church. Um, it is. It has been converted to a residential lot. So I was thinking somebody bought it. Now I don't know under which circumstances exactly such a thing would happen. Right. But I think sometimes churches in small communities might have some financial trouble or something and sell some estate that they that where like the community is too small to use this yeah, definitely. big place, right? Yeah, I think it right? happens. Right, yeah. I um, see, yeah, I seen actually, um, wasn't there, we, we watched this uh, a while back where there's some couple, I think, bought a um, old church and they kind of refurnished it as like a cyberpunk, uh, not cyberpunk, sorry, right. steampunk uh, museum kind of deal. Yes. Which was uh, eccentric to also, say. Also, Everyone, except for you, everyone else probably, um, has seen that one Spanish church that has been renovated by this artist. The pictures of that are everywhere on Pinterest and uh, every, <laughs> every type of interior design block um, is gorgeous. Um, so this is, this is a little different in style. This is a very um, gothic revival building um, and I have no reason for this this is gonna be a little bit weird probably but for some reason in my mind the people that bought this were Greek sure okay <laughs> yes um, it, it doesn't really I don't I don't think Do we have any viewers from Greece have you checked how would I check? Um, can, can you so if you're, if you're from Greece, please let us know. Yes, hello if you're from Greece. <laughs> also, hello if you're from anywhere else in the yes. world. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really... It, it, I, don't, I don't have a reason for it and I don't think you would notice this thought. Right, it doesn't look very <laughs> Greek necessarily. Oh, no, I, I, I thought this was very much a... And not necessarily European church. I don't know. Well, the the building, the church, I ki kind of based this on very loosely. It just, I, I'd say it just something that inspired me was a church in Florida. Really? Yes. But I didn't think they'd build churches like this. Yeah, it's it's a Gothic revival. Because the, wouldn't the be churches a gothic. that I've seen in the US, they they kind of just look like normal buildings. To be honest, <laughs> that's just true. Funny. Sometimes they do. Um, so yeah, and then also I've taken my personal, like, visual experiences right, sure. into this. Um, so this was a lot of fun. Um, as hold on, you... hold on. Before you, before you keep going, you need to tell the people about the objects that you're using. Yes, that's what I was gonna do. Okay, exactly. okay. Um, Go ahead. So this obviously uses a lot of Alexandra SCC. It's, um... Almost, it's a lot of the sets. It's mostly the gothic set, Schwerin, and the inside is actually very modern. Um, You'll see. So that also uses a lot of the living room, and what's the other one? London, maybe? Some, oh, Florence. It uses a lot of the Florence set also. So um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed building this. Um, I mean, I love that the style has so many architectural details. There's just so much to see and, and just these tiny things. And I love that. So you had fun building it. I had a lot of fun. Okay, I have a question. When you built this, right? I, from what I can tell, there could be two ways of going about it. Either you already think of it as a uh, reveno uh, renovated church. Mm -hmm. So you build it kind of knowing it's not gonna be a functioning church mm -hmm. or you orient your, yourself towards something that's actual like 
a church that could have been used back then and then just kind of re renovate it. How did you? So the exterior, I definitely built this the way I thought an actual church would look like. Right. Um, so the interior is a tiny bit different because this is not as big uh, in The Sims as this type of church would, would be usually in be in real life yeah. because this is quite cathedral-like. Right. Um, just from the setup. But it's it's way smaller on the inside than you would think. Right. I, I, and then I did think when I built this. Um, so this has one double bed and one bathroom. I mean, it kind of has two bathrooms because it has one that is just an actual bathtub room. A bathroom. Good old bathtub and then room. we have a water closet. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you could definitely fit a second bedroom in this, but I thought it, it just made more sense to me like this. Yeah. Um, oh my god, where was I going with this? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, right. Um, so I thought they left the exterior as it is and definitely had a lot of respect for the interior. So um, I tried to um, put some of those kind of vaulted wall um walkthrough areas right. that i've seen a lot in churches but then i've changed it up a bit just to make it more functional for the sims and also because i thought they would like a very i mean this is very modern so it has a very open floor plan and that actually does make a lot of sense with a church because it's usually one big because i was thinking like when you if you if you're one to buy a church first of all if anybody watching this bought a church, let us know how it went. And what did you do to it? But you're gonna you're gonna keep the exterior the same, right? You're not gonna buy a church and then change the exterior. Yes, at least not. Not in a way that's important. Yes. So I thought they would keep the inside kind of, and then if they had to like tear down any walls or any plaster decorations or whatever would be on the ceiling, on the walls right. and the windows, then they would reuse it, repurpose it somewhere else. So okay. you'll see, I mean, we'll get to this, but um, I figured they'd have those really nice Gothic chairs or at least one that was kind of intact enough. Um, I mean, I guess if this was kind of for financial reasons that the church sold this, then probably some things weren't as like pretty imperfect as right. they were yeah, when sure. in good times um so i thought for example they would keep that and they have this very modern dining area but then they just have this one accent gothic chair because i don't know they no, you want to pay they, your respects to the <laughs> yeah <laughs> to where it came from and also it's just cool historically and right uh, yeah. You know what I? You know what's bringing to my mind? I don't know. This has no relation to what we were talking about at all. But I, I just thought about how, you know, how sometimes in war, um, like especially churches, um, got bombed and uh, then will be restored at some point. Yes. How does how does that work? That's gonna be such a crazy project to restore a building, um, especially a, a building like this, which has a lot of detail, a lot of um shapes that we don't really use anymore uh how do they rebuild them because you gotta you gotta mash the color smash the materials and then match the original style right that's crazy to me yeah i, I think that is quite the intense process but i mean they've be been awesome. doing that in berlin for years and years and years right right well i think that's gonna be awesome just imagine like you're an architect and that's that's the project project you, you you work on that's really cool i guess it's kind of nice but also you don't it's have a lot not of freedom your, yes and it's <laughs> not your original work kind of. right right sure you can't oh wait i want to explain it. what i did to this this roof um so this is quite crazy roofing as you've probably noticed and i also had a lot of fun with that it was kind of like i don't know blew my brains out I wanted to. Yeah. I <laughs> well, that was an awesome sentence. <laughs> um, during this, but it was really fun and I think it really elevates this whole look. Um, so yeah, you saw me placing a second story, deleting it, like putting a roof on it, moving it, 
so with uh, like the foundation arrows but it doesn't have a foundation because it's a second story to um, be at the same height as those half walls that I've placed then moving the roof over so it would be on top of those um, half walls and be like kind of an accent and just make different shapes possible because you know EA likes to make that very hard for us. I understood none of what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, if you also didn't quite catch that, you can just rewind and check that out again. I if you have any questions, sure don't, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. Yes. I'm sure Bella will be glad yes, to Yes, I'm answer. by no means an expert, but I'll try <laughs> my best. Um, so this is kind of tricky. And also, if you place any walls, I mean, not any, you might get lucky but most walls you would want to place inside of this will delete the roofs <laughs> which you know is fine you can redo the roofs <laughs> we all have that skill so yeah i would advise you not to do that but i'm i'm sure you also be fine to like do just just make sure that you notice it if or right. i mean you could always replace this this is what i i mean i had to do these roofs like three times I try to um, make all my interior layout floor plan decisions before and then obviously I changed my mind yeah, as gotcha. you do. and then I had to do it again but it, it doesn't actually I mean once you get how it works it doesn't really take that I long. like how it's a it's a church with a palm tree oh right um yeah I kind of had this vision for it to have like tropical plants yeah, I, I don't know how these things come together in your head. Neither do I, <laughs> but I I don't know. I really like the final product. Right. It's so weird because I think as Europeans, we're so used to have this kind of, this, especially this Gothic looking church. Right. This is either our gonna, climate, you know? Right. This is either going to be on a cemetery and it's always going to be cold and raining. Yeah. And by that, obviously, I mean, Northern Europeans. Right. I mean, there's yeah, stuff there's like, di different climates yeah. in Europe. Um, but yeah, that's I, I just maybe because it was the, the kind of my inspiration was in Florida. But yeah, I that just, makes sense. And I really love how it comes out. So yeah, um, this this fence, as you can see, I'm placing these pieces individually, oh which God. was a hassle and took me about half an hour. Okay. <laughs> um, so How I long put those... did this whole build didn't take you? Oh, I, I think about nine hours. It's actually fine. That's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, it was fine. Um, yeah, I was just so excited about it. I just wanted to keep going and yeah, finish yeah, yeah. it all. Up. But remember. yeah, so I thought, I mean, if you buy a church, that was used as a church before right. and you turn it into a residential and it's in this like very lively area as it seems to be. It's like, it, I, it seems like a main street. Um, I thought you might ha have the problem that people are just gonna walk onto your, your estate and try to get into your home because they think it's still a church, right? Sunday morning, somebody yeah. might knock. And Actually, funny thing about that, um, when I was doing the intro shots. Uh, a lot of people actually just walked into the uh, onto the estate. Oh, they just, do that all the time. They stood in front of the door. It was like five people at once. They uh, all came the... like as a group, <laughs> and they stood there for like that's two the... hours, yes. and then they're like, "Ah, oh, okay, goodbye." And I was like, oh, "Okay." You've just experienced the welcome wagon. What? That's what? the thing. <laughs> yeah. When you move houses in the sims you get the welcome wagon which is just people from the neighborhood wanting to introduce themselves to you i was like back off man you. this is my this is my house <laughs> you don't get to live in my church come on <laughs> um yeah but i thought in real life that might be like uh, like old people or people who've been away and come back or maybe i don't know i i thought that might be something that people happened. who just randomly enter like a a, a, yeah. a van that drives so usually into a Korean I, church. <laughs> So usually I really like um, not putting fences around my lots. Mm. I think, I don't know. I'm, but I'm, but it, it kind of makes sure that people know it's residential. Yes. That's what you're trying to say, isn't it? And also, I feel like a lot of churches actually do have fences or like these this big gate. I felt right. that looked kind of church-like. Yeah. Um, so and also I thought this lot was perfect. This is in Willow Creek, by the way. Yeah, tell um, me about the neighborhood. I this Willow Creek is supposed to be New Orleans. 
So okay. that's why the houses in the background look the way they do. So you Florida wasn't that far off. I actually, um, I, I, you know, I don't actually know. I just, I know they're both in the south, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I thought this having this kind of community lot feel with this little park area right behind it. I thought mm. that just made sense for yeah. a church. Um, so yeah, I thought Maybe it was really fun, but then I made sure to put, put enough um, like natural landscaping right here, um, so you'd still have your privacy. Maybe even at one point there was like a pathway to the public area, and then they closed it up. Yeah, I thought so, absolutely. And then also this church garden, I love this. <laughs> okay, I can tell. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm tooting my own horn again. <laughs> But I really enjoyed this build. I um, thought this garden was so romantic and kind of hidden, but then also it feels so like it belongs to a community. And I thought obviously these people who live here were big entertainers, as I think all the people I right. imagine for my booth are. Um, I just, I guess like I myself do, they probably love having people over. Do I mean, you always imagine kind of this place on Halloween. This you can like actually put like <laughs> decorations on it and it'll look scary as hell. And have a Halloween party. This this looks like the kind of place that teenagers would always like climb onto the property and then TP the place and you could never get rid of it because your place is so tall. I've never actually heard of anyone being TP'd for real. I've done it. You've done that? Yeah, I've done it. I cannot go into further detail, but I have on one occasion done it to someone who I thought was very deserving of it. Oh my god! It was, it was funny as hell, it was late night. Uh, I was not I was not intoxicated at all. I, I don't really drink. Why did that sound no, sarcastic? No, no, okay. No, no, I, I, I don't drink, so I, I really wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was funny. It was a good experience. Okay, but also TPing this place would be so much work because it's right. so huge it, and so it, intricate. It, yeah. uh, and expensive. Right, but getting rid of it it's is the is a pain. Yeah, probably. Uh, but yeah, no, I don't know how I came up with this story, but I thought it's kind of funny. <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? Okay. I especially love this little arch arch walkway. Arch walkway. Yeah, that's the, 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 that's, the, that's what you're gonna go with. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I thought this seemed like such a nice garden to get some shade in the summer i i'm sorry i just really enjoyed this <laughs> no i i agree um especially i was thinking as well like if you were to own this place you could like rent it out as like a wet wedding venue or whatnot and uh that'd be awesome probably but um yeah no i guess dreams. not in this case because don't destroy my dreams <laughs> oh yeah also here's the the, the bike the, just for the mandatory bike the mandatory uh, so this interior is very modern as i said and it's very residential so yeah i i mean maybe it's like a wedding airbnb and yeah. they can stay there have their mm. honeymoon mm, that's there you go that's the stuff i also uh i want to you know i i always think it's funny how like the, okay the main door for instance in yeah home, oh my oh, sorry also yeah, you sure. just saw me build this and then totally forget to put in a um to put in stairs out of the back door okay. <laughs> i noticed off camera and i put them there off camera so the back door is now usable mm -hmm. i'm sorry okay continue um no i forgot what i was gonna say ah how the like the front door doesn't have a keyhole like there's there's yeah. no way. Also, okay, so the front door has these kind of knockers, right? That you can knock with. They are on both sides. Why are they on both sides? <laughs> I mean, I get if it. If somebody wants to be let out. Right, but see. No, okay, that's oh, just you. You thought you did something. Also, didn't you? <laughs> we're onto the interior. That this is really cool. the actual bathtub bathroom. And Let me guess. This just kind of clipped through, and you're like, this looks cool. Yeah, I, I thought this was really cool. <laughs> it does it does look cool. Um, yeah, I, I put some architectural details on the inside and I've also already done the stairs just so you wouldn't have to watch me struggle. And then 
I thought this was also really fun and kind of crazy to put this one-sided window mirror thing uh, in this bathroom. So from the outside, or I guess from like the living room area, which is later gonna be the living room area, it's a mirror. And from this bathtub side, it's a window through which you can watch. So it's a one-way mirror. Living room. It is a one-way mirror. That was a very complicated <laughs> way to say it's a one-way mirror. I thought this was kind of fun. No, it, yeah, I think it's really cool. And uh, yeah, like, imagine having guests over and you're just ta bathing and uh, you look out It'd be very at them. fair to tell everyone beforehand that there's a window through which you can watch this living room area. No, yeah, obviously. <laughs> just, <laughs> just making sure. I. <laughs> I also don't know about like one-way mirrors. How do they have to have like special lighting conditions, or are you? Oh, if you I? like shine a flashlight at them and you can like look through them, I don't know. I'm Didn't just guessing. Didn't we watch some kind of movie recently, or where that happened, where somebody was looking through a one-way mirror with a flashlight? Am I going crazy? Yes, absolutely. I don't. I don't. Rec I have no recollection it's of anything kind of like this. It's some kind of action movie. Uh, okay, no. um, <laughs> it's just that I love taking baths, but I don't really have anything to do during them because I don't want to get my books wet. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most pretentious thing <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm sorry. Seriously. I didn't want to get my classic books wet. I get scared wet. and I also can't like, have my phone in my hands when they're right over water. Your phone, I get is, anxious. your phone is waterproof. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's waterproof enough to be in a bathtub. Yeah, but I'm not gonna risk that, am I? Dude, are you kidding me? Your phone can survive up to like one meter underwater for like two hours or what? Okay, I'm just trying to say, I think this is a really nice entertainment. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> I struggled. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I totally get what you're saying, though. Uh, also, taking a bath just takes way too long. Who has that kind of time? Yeah, but I love it. It's yeah, very, no, I, I nice. agree. It's very relaxing. Uh, but... I mean, these people that live in this place, they yeah, do take I, baths. They, they also probably never have to work again, yeah. because, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> also, um, seeing these stairs just hop into frame sometimes, uh, you did not saw me build these because that was one of the biggest struggles that, of my personal well, life, which has not been very <laughs> struggleful. Wow, that's <laughs> been just, a struggle. I'm just going at it today. <laughs> um, so, they should work, I think. Problem is, I, I mean, I play tested this whole build, um, but I suffer from that one bug. Um, that hasn't been fixed since November that came with the platform update which is that when you have a mezzanine level and then stairs that lead up there where there's no floor above the stairs then my sims cannot go up those stairs um, if you suffer from this bug as well then your sims will not be able to walk up these stairs because Lucky you there's not a floor up there. I, I thought, I mean, I, I tried some different ways, but I really wanted this to feel very grand. So I really wanted that double level right. thing around the middle of the church. And also those windows are double level and I love them. I think they add so much to this build. But is it um, possible to teleport your sims up there? <laughs> that seemed like the most staged question. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm yes, but I'm gonna get to it. Wait. Okay. Um, so you, if if you could try to figure out some other stair lay layout, if you also suffer from this bug, you could also wait until Yay fixes it. Um, I've just teleported my sim up the stairs when I needed them to be up the stairs. It's probably faster, anyways, and I don't mind it. If you mind it, you could. I don't know, as I said, find a different layout or... By your own church, come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure if all the decorations I've put on the stairs, so the gothic um, fence thingies from uh, by Alexandra uh, might not work, I don't know, because I couldn't playtest it because my sims kind of walk up there anyways. Right. Self-fulfilling prophecy. Kind of. Um, so yeah, that's just how I dealt with it. 
but you can find a solution for you. If and if you, you do, want to. let us know. Oh yeah, also, I didn't say this. Um, if you want to download this, it's uh, on my Patreon. Doesn't cost anything. Uh, so you can just click the first link in the description and download it if you want to. So this interior is kind of coming together. I think you can tell where I'm going. And I love this really, really modern look of this kitchen that we're just done with. So wow. now you can Cute. see, can comment. <laughs> and yeah, I thought this roof area was also kind of crazy. I want to tell you one thing, that painting is not going to survive outside. I, I, so I thought this might have been an original painting from the church, church usage mm -hmm. times. Good old church usage times. <laughs> um, but then again, I mean, they wouldn't have this roof area, so I thought this was like kind of renovated or they made this area accessible. Right. It probably would have been there, but it wouldn't have been okay. an accessible roof thing. Um, so yeah, they just have this little outside dining area and barbecue thing and a little chill out place. I, when I, again, when I did the intro, um, I was, um, it was raining and that speaker that you just placed broke. So now I'm going to have to replace that with my own money. I personally live in a rain free world. Huh. So your imagination. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, your sims could put that in their inventory. I just like to listen to music outside on my private room. I actually, I was really impressed. I I, uh, I thought it was really cool that things break, like uh, the the speaker would break under uh, yeah. in the rain. Although uh, I will say they kind of modeled it from what I could tell after like a UE Mega Boom, which is waterproof. Yes. So uh, <laughs> you tell me, EA. Oh no, that's that's uh, custom content. Oh, you tell me, cu custom. Cu Harry cu and Alexandra. Yeah. Harry and Alexandra. Um, yeah. That but was that's a good cool. brand. That, cool. that was a good old brand. Um, so I tried to, I, I thought, I know these bifold doors are also kind of crazy up here in this rather small bedroom. It's okay, your, your sims are not going to be able to reach you anyways. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, they might be. I mean, mine personally are not, but okay. other people's yeah. sims maybe. Uh, so, but I thought, I mean, you would want this view, right? Living in this place, you would want to be reminded of this place all the time and imagine standing there and looking down on these huge stained windows. Aren't usually churches also built to, to have like good acoustics? Or do they have yes. awful acoustics? No, I, I great. No, they have great acoustics. So this is, although they're not really meant for like speaker music and uh, I don't know because I could I could just imagine the reverb being awful I know you you would walk through this place whistling and singing oh yes I would be time. whistling the hell out of this place the hell oh that, that <laughs> might have been inappropriate my bad <laughs> I don't think there was any hell in this place to begin with <laughs> uh, this holy ground so this is actually my favorite area of the whole residential part of <laughs> that didn't make any sense yeah. <laughs> of this whole people. Um, I love this kind of corally tone of these uh, couches. I love it. I love it. <laughs> what are you, you expecting me to say? I don't know. No, it looks cool. Um, really enjoyed this. Really enjoyed the juxtaposition of this very modern interior and these incredible architectural gothic kind of details. I think the windows are really cool how they have like tainted glass yeah so I love those too I wish I, I, glass. I, I wish stupid stained. stupid me stained glass I wish I would get to use those more often they're so beautiful right you I can't kind really of apply them this. anywhere else really yes. right? these are church windows so but I kind of built this to use this specific content oh okay yeah that makes sense <laughs> it's just so pretty and i we should you know it's been a while since i've been to a church uh and like say what you will about religion or whatever it doesn't matter but architecturally they're usually pretty damn cool yes i mean those were the people that had that kind of money yeah. in and like devotion. 15th century, or <laughs> right. I guess like 8th century, if you 
if you look at all those beautiful oh churches and trying cathedrals to, trying to set in up Europe. this church with wi-fi i just looked at the computer i was like oh man <laughs> saying this up with wi-fi that'd be such a pain and just because it's huge yeah and you have thick walls and you'd need like a whole me mesh network and that'd be terrible to do <laughs> that's a fun fact <laughs> <laughs> there you go you don't want to be installing wi-fi in a church I guess these, I saw these people were probably like designers or so. I mean, they don't use Wi Fi. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, probably, they probably go to their favorite coffee Starbucks. store. Ne no, coffee store oh, next door my and brain. to work. So. Yeah. But they, again, they have a workspace here. Yes. So. And they have a frame TV. I keep forgetting, it, it just looks like a frame. It looks more like a frame than the original does. So I'm like, is this a TV? Is it, is it a frame? Is it a plane? And that's I don't exactly know. what you're supposed to think. Yeah, no, it, it, it totally works. And it's usable? Yes. That's really cool. Absolutely. So yeah, I also made sure to put in a TV, which I also usually do not do. But it makes sense here. Because I feel like, especially with the frame, it kind of just looks like a painting. But right? then you can just sit down and watch some uh, Jeopardy or whatever you're watching. <laughs> I don't know, that was the first thing that came to my mind. First. Jeopardy! Yeah, I don't know why, I've never watched that. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, a lot of plants, again. That's just what I do. That's, I'm, I'm not gonna change that. You should see this place that. where we are right now, it's full of plants. It is full of plants and that's the way it's supposed to be. And the way it's always gonna be. I and respect. I'm gonna keep building like that. I, I respect you that. You can't stop me. I wouldn't dare, it looks awesome. So. Uh, would you ever consider actually buying a church if you had that kind of money? What kind of a question? Well, if you had like, no, if you had that kind of money, you obviously Louis, have a lot of choices. The places I would buy if I had any kind of money, <laughs> you can't even imagine. <laughs> okay, this channel is eventually just going to turn into like room tours of like large places. I would love that. We've uh, reached the end of the speed bolt. Make sure to stay for the video tour because we've put a lot of effort into it and you'll love it. And uh, we love you. Bye. Bye. See you later.